We all have been studying in school that space is actually empty, like really empty. But is it actually? No, it isn't. You must be kidding, man. No, I'm serious. It's science. You say something, you have to okay? prove it. Watch me. A very famous theory in quantum mechanics titled as the quantum field theory suggests that empty space is actually not that empty. It contains virtual particles. Let me explain it to you. Let's assume empty space as a series of these, well, let's just say, masses on a spring. If we introduce some energy to one of these springs by tapping it or something like that, it will start simultaneously bobbing up and down with that amount of energy, or as we like to say in physics, it gets into a harmonic motion. Then it affects the other springs around it and everything starts oscillating. The Heisenberg's uncertainty in principle says that the products of two variables such as energy and time is limited. But why would we even talk about that? Well, in fact, the springs follow this uncertainty principle, meaning that they will never have the energy equal to zero. In other words, vacuum has some energy. Yeah, it might seem so weird that vacuum has a certain energy. But the most beautiful thing about the theory is that we can also prove it mathematically. Let's have a look at the graph of the quantum harmonic oscillator. Don't worry about the name, it's actually quite simple. It's just a graph that shows us many energy levels in which every n adds an extremely small amount of energy called the quantum. But the most important thing about this graph is that it shows us the zero point energy, or the lowest possible energy in a quantum system. From this point upon the graph exists real particles and no real particle can exist below the zero point. Everything that is below this zero point is nothing but disturbances in the vacuum energy that we call virtual particles. Virtual particles are totally different from real particles. They are nothing but disturbances in the vacuum energy that can push it over the zero point forming real particles. Whoa, whoa, wait, you have just said that virtual particles aren't real, so how did you know that they exist? That's actually a good question. When putting two uncharged plates in a complete vacuum, where the distance between the two plates is around 1 micron, around 10 to the power of minus 6 meters, they close together. How? Let me present you the Casimir effect. Virtual photons are created between the two plates have a limited range of energy and wavelength. The virtual photons that have a too large wavelength simply cannot exist between the two plates. However, outside the two plates, any virtual photon with any energy or with any wavelength simply can exist. The pressure differentiates from the outside and the inside. The fact that the outside's pressure is higher than the inside's pressure pushes the two plates to close together. 